In this work, we present a robotic hand for dexterous within hand manipulation based on the Stuart Goff platform parallel manipulator. The mechanism of the hand, presented here in schematic form, includes three fingers, each consisting of a revolute joint at the base, an actuated planar linkage with two RPR kinematic chains, and a passive spherical joint that allows a compliant fingertip to reorient during object manipulation. To apply an inward torque to each of the fingers, a single revolute grasp actuator in the palm of the hand is coupled to the fingers with a pulley differential. This actuator is operated in torque control to avoid imposing redundant kinematic constraints on the mechanism. We present a modeling framework to predict the feasible workspace of the hand considering both kinematic and frictional constraints. We then explore the design space of the mechanism, identifying an optimal design that achieves a large feasible workspace while also exhibiting a high degree of manipulability, as assessed by the local transmission index. A prototype hand was then designed and fabricated based on these optimal design parameters. Nearly all components are 3D printed or commercially available. The hand design will be made available for free through the Yale Open Hand project website. We next show a series of teleoperated demonstrations with this prototype, beginning with a set of random motions executed using objects from the YCB object set. As you can see here, the hand is capable of dexterously manipulating a range of object shapes and sizes. It is worth noting that the simple kinematic design and underactuated tendon differential allow the hand to be operated open loop, aside from built-in low-level servo motor controllers. Next, we perform a highly dexterous marble maze task. The operator must use the hand to maneuver a small marble from an entrance hole to an exit by tilting the toy in different directions. The robotic arm allows the hand to grasp the maze and reorient it to a pose better suited for this task. The marble is then inserted and a six-off input device is used to control the hand's manipulation. Again, this task is accomplished completely open loop aside from the operator input and low-level motor control. As you can see, the operator is able to achieve the task with ease. Finally, we demonstrate a peg-in-hole insertion task. The hand grasps an object and is positioned close to a matching hole at an irregular orientation using the robot arm. The operator then uses the hand to reorient, reposition, and insert the object into the angled hole. For more discussion of the analysis and experimental characterization of this hand, please see the full paper for further details. To build this hand yourself, visit the Yale Open Hand website.